Hey, buddy, stop where you're at. Let's see. In seconds, Tyrone McAlpin taken to the ground, punched and tased by Phoenix police. What you see in that video is an officer who's moving so quickly that there's just nobody who could um, who could do anything right in that situation. Now McAlpin, who's deaf and has cerebral palsy, sending a $3.5 million notice of claim to the city after charges dropped following public outcry. Horrifying. Nikki Sukup is the director of public policy with the Arizona Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, ACDHH. She spoke with 12 News and an interpreter joined. What we've seen, unfortunately, this is not the first time an incident like this has occurred. There have been prior incidents across the United States. What we see is an unnecessary use of force because of lack of awareness. Prevention comes from training. So having that situational awareness, again, of how to interact with our community is equally as important as how to use a handgun. Training. You testified earlier that you've been trained on how to interact with individuals who are hearing impaired. Is that correct? Uh, light training with people who are hard of hearing. Okay. Can you tell me more about that? Uh, it's about seven years ago. I don't remember much of it. Officers Benjamin Harris and Kyle Sue said in court they don't remember. Have you received any training in dealing with members of the public who have disabilities? Maybe briefly, but nothing that I recall. Training not required by state law. So it is strongly encouraged, but is my understanding that after this incident, there has been discussion. So I'm hoping that we will be able to highlight the need, unfortunately, due to something as horrific as Tyrone McAlpin's situation. ACDHH tried to get it passed in the legislature a few years ago and made online training videos available. But as of last summer, we recently learned that that has rarely been used. Officer Harris was the first to get to McAlpin. We already established that when you pulled into the parking lot and yelled at Tyrone, he didn't respond to you, correct? Correct. Did you check to see if he had headphones in? I didn't notice. Okay. Did you check to see if there was a reason why he couldn't hear you? No. Did you try to wave him down? No. Did you signal for him to sit down on the curb? Uh, verbally, I did. The community wanting training and tools to prevent this. For the more than 1.3 million people who are deaf and hard of hearing in Arizona. If they first verbally did not get that response, they could have engaged in his line of sight so that he could have visually seen him. So he could respond and point to his ear, which is quite common that he was unable to see or, to hear. Colleen Sakura, 12 News.